Hey, what is up folks? Zero Facts coming at you on behalf of Nutribullet Time and today we're answering the question, can the Nutribullet make almond nut butter? I was checking my comments on some of my videos uh, the other day, a girl asked me, hey, you know, can this Nutribullet, you know, make almond nut butter? Doesn't It's not doing that good of a job on the ice. Yeah, and it, it, I found it disappointing it didn't do that good of a job on the ice, uh, but I happen to know this is a good little little machine here, and it it does good on a lot of stuff. Um, a matter of fact, the ice is the one thing I haven't seen it do good on so far, but today we're going to find out if it can do good on whole natural almonds. We're going to see if it can crush them up, and we're going to see if we can add a little bit of honey and turn it into like a uh, almond nut butter. So for this, I think we're going to use both blades. We're going to use the milling blade to kind of crush up those almonds a little bit and then we're going to switch to the extraction blade when we put the honey in to kind of like you know mix it up and make it creamy and see what we can do. Now I've only done this one time before which was like a few minutes ago so I have tested it. I know it kind of works but still I'm not a master at making almond nut butter by any means uh, so let's see what we can do. We'll check it out. First things first, let's just put the nuts. I'm going to use our small cup for this one. Guys, the Nutribullet is super easy to use. Small cup, put the cap on. Now, put this in here. Now, I noticed this thing kind of pulverizes most of them, but it's kind of a popcorn effect with these almonds. It doesn't get them all completely, but uh, I'll show you guys what I mean. That's, that's pretty good for uh, us, for our purposes. We just kind of wanted to shake those things up and crush them a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add some, uh, you can see, still got some loose pieces of almond in there. We just kind of wanted to get most of them ground up. What we're going to do now is we're going to add about four tablespoons of uh, honey. And I don't have an exact measurement on that, guys. I'm just kind of winging it. Uh, the main thing is you want to add some type of sweetener or some kind of uh, liquid to kind of help kind of make it creamy a little bit because um, you know we're trying to make this kind of like peanut butter except like more healthy coconut oil would be a good one to use um, you know canola oil uh, with some type of sweetener uh, whatever you guys want to do um, it's important when, before you switch over to the extraction blade to kind of add some kind of uh, oil or some kind of sweetened liquid like this honey because uh, the extraction blade man it really doesn't work on just dry stuff I mean it's got to have some kind of a this is gross I'm gonna use my finger guys sorry um, it really doesn't work with just uh, it really doesn't work with dry stuff this blade right here is awesome but it doesn't really work with dry stuff. Okay, you gotta have some kind of liquid in there, water, something. So, anyways, we're gonna see how this thing can do. I noticed with this almond nut butter, you kind of gotta shake this thing a little bit. See what we got going on here. Kind of a uh, yeah, that's really not too bad actually. Still kind of kind of like a peanut butter. Still, I see some little chunks of almonds in there. It's not exactly what I was going for. Now like I said guys, I haven't really perfected the recipe, might need a little bit more honey in there, a little bit more some other kind of liquid to kind of get that creamy texture we're going for. And 
really this is just a matter of uh, it being a little too thick and sticking to the sides of this thing uh, and not really catching the blade but I don't know if you guys can see this or not but it really is kind of like a uh, kind of like a peanut butter actually actually that looks really good um, but uh, you probably can't see it on the camera but there are some still very very tiny little pieces of almond in there I'm not really too happy with that. I kind of just want to get rid of all the little pieces of almond. But uh, I kind of feel like that's a matter of my recipe not being quite perfected and not um, and not the actual Nutribullet itself having a problem. Because this is really creamy just like peanut butter. But anyways, so now we know guys, you can make almond nut butter with this thing. you got to perfect your recipe a little bit. Use both blades to do it. Um, but yeah, very possible. It tastes a lot like uh, peanut butter here. Sorry guys, me with my fingers, sorry. Yeah, that's really good. If you like honey, I like honey. That's really good. Wow, that's actually really good. Um, but anyways, um, so there you go. There's almond nut butter with the Nutribullet. It actually tastes pretty good. You gotta use both blades to do it. Still, I don't really consider it time consuming. It's not that bad at all. And these blades are super easy to clean. But uh, there you have it. If you're interested in the Nutribullet, if you think it's a cool piece of machinery and you want to grab one, I got a link uh, down there in my description. You can pick it up off of Amazon. It's like 100 bucks, maybe a little less. Yes, I do get a commission if you click on that link and go to Amazon and buy one. Okay. Yeah, it's like four bucks. It's not very much. But I only promote products I believe in. And I believe in the Nutribullet. It's a great product. That's why I promote it. You can see, check out my videos. You can see all the other crap it does. It's a really awesome piece of machinery. And for a hundred bucks, you just can't beat it. I'm telling you guys, I got tons of Vitamix haters commenting on my videos and, and emailing me about how I don't know what I'm talking about. The Vitamix is way better than the Nutribullet. You know what? The Vitamix is more powerful than the Nutribullet. It's not way better than the Nutribullet. I can tell you right now, I don't think the Vitamix can do some of the things that the Nutribullet can do and be able to clean it as easy as what you can clean the Nutribullet. So that's just my opinion. Whatever. You can say I'm uneducated if you want to. You can say I don't know what I'm talking about if you want to. Uh, the proofs in the videos guys. I'm doing the videos right now. You can see for yourself. This thing works. It works phenomenal and uh, What can I say man? Scenes believing. Go check it out. Anyways, that's about all I got for you. Nutribullet making almond nut butter. Awesome, awesome, dynamic, versatile machine. I'll catch up with you guys next time. Peace.